sometimes I just want to be influenced (laughs) by an influencer. I hate that word, influencer. But they do a lot of the heavy lifting for you, especially in areas that you don't know a ton about. For instance, I like to follow fashion (laughs) influencers because I don't want to dig around and find the cool new brand or the deals or, you know, the random sweatshirts that they're getting from Amazon. I want someone else to do the heavy lifting. (laughs) Not all the time, but just in certain areas. I don't like to call myself an influencer because I don't feel like I'm pushing anyone to buy anything. I'm actually more so trying to get you to discover your own style. I'm really not trying to push anyone to buy anything except my own products for my company was. You can buy you can buy some of those. We do have pillows coming out in a month. The last round of pillows. Another thing I'm not influencing you to do is buy anything from today's video. Today's video is really just to show you what I have purchased myself, stuff I'm inspired by design-wise, and and yeah, I did the heavy lifting for you. If you're looking to add a fun piece of art to your home or, I don't know, any of these random It's all just random home decor stuff. But there's nothing vintage in this round because usually I'm promoting vintage and vintage stores, but today everything is available for purchase for all of you. I guess if you live in the area or country that it can ship to. Okay, we're going to start with Zara Home because this is one of my favorite purchases that I just made this morning after going back and forth if I should get them or not. And then I got them because I I really like them. And it's these bath towels. I feel like Zara Home always has the best bath towels. I used to say they had the best sheets too, but I haven't really seen good sheets. I have, I have bedding and good sheets coming later in this video. But I really like these bath towels. They have a really interesting color combination. And my bathroom has some teal in it. And I just felt like it needed some way to bring in the teal. So these striped Zara Home bath towels, uh, I actually purchased those. Two. Two. They are 50 a towel, but I will say I have Zara bath towels from literally eight years ago that I still use. I actually upgraded my towels to these guys from Nikki Kehoe. I asked for them for Christmas. They're expensive. They're 110 a towel, whereas the Zara Home ones are 50 a towel. But I don't mind spending a little bit more on towels because I do keep them for maybe an unnecessary amount of time. But I will, I will say, I need to stop saying that these towels, I like Nikki Kehoe a lot, but these towels, like they don't soak up the water that well. They kind of like, you know, when that towel is a texture and it kind of like makes it drip off the towel. I don't know. It doesn't soak as well as my Zara home ones. So, um, I actually am going to use these as beach towels and then just bought these for my bathroom. Zara Home. Okay, moving on. Don't come for me that I'm shopping at Zara Home. Sometimes you want to spend 50 a towel and not 110 a towel. That's actually an absurd price. I personally love Muji so much. They're stationary. Everything is so good. But the first thing I wanted to show you were these wooden plates and bowls because I just think it's nice to have wooden plates and bowls you know, just as a general dish in your home. I like to eat off of like wood and plastic and like soft things. I don't know what that means. For me, I feel like it does mean something. Like if you like a plastic spoon, I don't know what that means. Like does it mean you have ADD? I don't know. But (laughs) um, if you're in the market for like a little wooden plate, Muji, so good. And then also I get all of my pens and pencils from Muji because they're just good quality and I don't know if you're picky about like the little like points on your pen I highly recommend Muji stationery and this isn't good but they do sell on Amazon you can get Muji stuff off Amazon these are my pens these aren't even Muji actually but I'll link these and then I do get these pencils my favorite pens and pencils I swear there's more home stuff coming Uh, you just get a little sidetracked when I shop at these spots. See this little wood bowl? I have this. It's so cute. And Japanese dishware is the best dishware, I think, personally. I've talked about this place in 
previous videos before. I'm just going to throw this place in there because it's the best spot for Japanese ceramics, uh, at least in Los Angeles. It's called Utsua no Yakata. If you live in LA, I do suggest going in there, but you can also shop it online. I just find it better in person because you can kind of dig through the stacks of dishware. All of my stuff is from here. And look how cute all of this stuff is. A lot of handmade ceramic stuff. Like, look at that little cup. And a lot of it doesn't go out of stock quickly. Every time I go in there, I'm like, oh, I have that. And then my friends and I all copy each other. We're like, wait, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with that plate. Where'd you get it? Utsua. Duh. Back to Muji. I think if I had a kid, <laughs> if you have a child, I really like this orange check twin bedspread. I'm really into it. Or duvet cover. I don't know if I would like it in a queen or a king because it just feels like too much bright pattern. But if you have a kid <laughs> or a twin bed, um, I'm really into this, which that like gingham, that large gingham, I might have said no to uh, a bit ago, but I just trust anything Muji. They have food, dry soups. Oh my God. They have everything. Should I buy those soups? Look, say hey. Here. <laughs> I'm watching Hoagie, Kate, Kate and Andy's dog, and he was just barking. So I let him come out here and I made like a weird gate that he easily could cross, but we're gonna trust you, right? Right, Henry? We trust you. We trust you. Okay. <laughs> I honestly never shop at H&M Home, but I've been browsing there lately because I've been thinking of ordering some clothes from there because they have some tanks sometimes. But anyways, I came across their rice paper lampshades and, you know, for that price, I do feel like they're pretty cool. The main thing I like about them is the color of the rice paper. I feel like a lot of people will offer a rice paper lampshade, you know, like on Amazon or whatever, and it's not the correct color. It needs to be this color. You know, like a beigey color. I have a weird, like, smart um, <laughs> light bulb. And sometimes it's the wrong shade. There we go. We're back to my, my son. But I like this guy, this rice paper floor lamp. And then I also like this hanging one. If you're in the market for a rice paper lamp, I just don't think you can ever go wrong with these. And they're the right color and they, you know, they're kind of knockoffs. And sometimes we just want an affordable rice paper floor lamp. So we go to H&M, okay? Let's move on. I really like this table lamp if the trim wasn't black. My mom would like this lamp a lot. I think it's very preppy and mature. But, you know, for me, I would rather the trim be like a red. But if this is your style, I do like this. So I'm not necessarily buying it, but I did come across it. And then it also has this cool, this wall lamp version of it. So if you buy this, send me a photo. I feel like you also could like re-trim it. I mean, it is $90, $92 to have to re-trim. But I like an all fabric lamp. So this one's for Sue. Shout out Sue. Sue, if you're watching this, text me. Um, haven't heard from you in a few days. It's pretty rude. Pretty, pretty rude. And this is a test to see if she's watching my video. Not that she even really has to, but I just like to, I just like to stick it to her. Susan, sorry. Susan. She does not like to be called Sue. Susan. Which, by the way, I'm filming a video with her coming up. Moving over to Etsy, I'm going to show you one of my favorite shops that again is not vintage any of these etsy shops that i show you are not vintage which means all of us can purchase uh these products and this one's based in seoul and they have the best curtains i just have to say we've got this cool yellow linen stripe one i debated that for my bathroom but i don't know if it goes with my towels i am gonna get curtains in my bedroom that are more just like display, but I really like these guys, these checker, beigey, like these patterns are just so good. You could use them as shower curtains or curtain curtains. 
and honestly that little touch of pink i maybe i should get this as my shower curtain because i have the teal should i buy this right now you've got this blue stripe just a good blue stripe i feel like a unique curtain like this is kind of rare to find i like this plaid as well blue and green stripe linen good red and blue stripe linen very good oh you can see my little fish uh, earrings if someone wants to snag them those are vintage we will hide that let's see with a hack showing people my things and uh yes i do have a lot of conversations and people i'm talking to on etsy my cart has seven things i've shown this shop before i guess i'll show it again but if you like like a little barrette this is one of my favorite shops on etsy look how cute these little barrettes are and honestly you think that they're vintage and they're not like i have these in red i have these I have, I have, oh, there's the red ones. I have these. These are some of my favorite barrettes. Barrette. So I will, I'll link this shop again because it's good and they're affordable. They're not over pricey. Another Etsy shop that provides some good jute rug type things that, again, aren't vintage. I thought this was cute. I like the colors of this like slate blue. Um, and you can pick different patterns and whatnot. They have some other good options as well. I think this one is nice. It looks like it's vintage and it's not. This would look really good, you know, in front of your kitchen sink. This is just a good company that has vintage inspired rugs, but not vintage. So we all can buy the rug and all match. I like to match. Me and my friends, we copy each other on everything. It used to be better when we were in different cities, but now we're all in the same city slightly, at least Kate and I. Um, so we do sometimes have to message each other and be like, Hey, like you're not wearing these trousers, these Uniqlo, I guess I could show you the Uniqlo tr trousers. These are my favorite trousers of all time. And Kate's, I think we have shown up on set together, both wearing the same trousers. So we were like, okay, we gotta stop copying each other maybe. Okay. Here are the magical trousers that I have in every single color. Um, I will say, I think like the brown ones, oh, they are sold out. All of them. All right. Um, moving on. But I will say, <laughs> I will say, I do have a jacket from Uniqlo that I've gotten so many compliments on. Have I shown this jacket? But anyways, my friend Basma copied me. I also copy her. Oh my God. It's almost sold out too. Extra small left if you want it. I've run deep into an Etsy rabbit hole to find new sheets because you're not going to buy vintage sheets first off. And I just wanted fun pattern sheets kind of like tecla you know i am attracted to tecla bedding but i just feel like everyone has tecla bedding not that that really necessarily matters i'm not really like that where i'm like i have to be different even though some might say we apologize okay can i please see this um i just feel like it's so obvious that it's tecla but maybe i'm wrong I don't know. I do like Tecla. We'll, we'll link them. But I did go down a giant rabbit hole of betting on Etsy, starting with this company called Sunflower Store. I like to sometimes just update my pillowcases. I think that's fun. We're actually launching, for my company was, when we come out with pillows, we're launching two different versions of pillowcases, which I'm excited about. So it's fun to just, you know, Instead of having to drop a bunch of money on all new sheets, I think just updating your pillowcase is a fun way to update your room. And I think these are all really cute. I like, well, not that one. I like this. I like this one. What ones did I like? I like this like red plaid one the most. Where'd it go? This guy. I feel like my style when it comes to bedding is a little boy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, into those and this in this store. Also, this burgundy stripe one. All of these are cool, except the green one has like weird paint splatters uh, on them. That one's cute too. That one's cute. That one I like, but it I don't like the paint splatters. I also like this one, gray and yellow. Into the I like that one a lot. Add to cart. Oh, all right later. Later we will. Another blue and plaid. Another blue and another blue and yellow plaid. I really like those. I like this. I like this stuff. I just think it's fun to have a little plaid 
bed sheet. <laughs> Another company, Great Bear Ryan. Um, this does feel like a complete replica of Tekla in a way. I like this gray stripe. I think this is actually a really good bedspread for like a male <laughs> that is 25 when they're trying to be a little more stylish and they love gray. I feel like men in their mid-20s love gray. So send this to your younger brother. Here, I'll send it to my brother right now. Uh, thought this bedding could be cute for you if you're in the market. Let's see what he says. Usually he's super nice. He'll be like, oh my god, yeah, and then he won't buy it. But let's see. He loves an exclamation point usually, and I love when people use exclamation points. When I... <laughs> started dating which I'm just full-on dating now it's not an old, it's not old news at this point but um when a man uses an exclamation point I'm like ah I love the enthusiasm I'm into I'm into an exclamation point I'm not really into a smiley face as much but I love an exclamation point and if you text with me I'm always using an exclamation point and you should just know that about me should we FaceTime my brother <laughs> and just see uh since I'm screen recording, I feel like this could be kind of funny. His name is Jack. I want to be like, hello, you're live on air. You're live on air. No. You're not live, <laughs> but, but I am recording. <laughs> oh, no. I, I texted you. I know. Did you send me something? Yeah, I sent you a link to some bedding. And, uh, I was like, oh, I feel like my brother might like this. Oh. What are you doing? I'm literally laying down after work. Are you? Oh, you're on a was pillow. I am on a West Village. <laughs> um, yeah, take a look at the bedding. Ooh. He hates it. No, it's cute. I didn't think you even needed bedding, but... I certainly don't. You have your linen. If you want to buy it for me, I'll, I'll use it. I thought it was nice, because I, oh, I was saying men in their mid-twenties like gray. They do, and that's why I don't like gray. Oh, because you're special. Uh -huh. What do you well, have to say to, to the people? This is not the best time. <laughs> it's just like I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a worm right now. Just like yeah. My, I, my eyes were closed. Yeah, I was uh, I was getting tired, and then I drank a midday matcha. Well, I guess it's only three forty there, but I was like, I feel like this is a late time to record video. I always but, record in the morning. Dude, yeah, I know. That's why I was like. I know, but I had therapy. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I had therapy great. and I had some shit I had to get done. Um, and then I'm hosting a Mexican domino night tonight. So yeah, I was like, it? I like to film like when I know I'm going to do something because then I get ready for two things. Yeah. I don't really like to get ready just for the camera. Yeah, true. Fair enough. All right. Well, this is fun. Say goodbye to all your friends. <laughs> he goodbye, hates the friends. betting. So <laughs> <laughs> maybe next time. What are you watching? Uh, stupid stuff. Golf. Oh. All right. Bye. Yeah. All right. Bye. Have fun tonight. All right. Bye. Love you. Bye. Love you too. Bye. Anyways, that's my brother. My brother Jack. And he, I don't think he liked that. <laughs> I don't think he liked that bedding. I also like this one. I think it's, you know, it belongs to a specific room. But again, a male that needs bedding. You know, I'm not going to gender preference this. But I'm just thinking of like my Midwest roots of like a college dude. You know, I also love this one. I love this one. I have blue bedding right now from uh, Cotton. They've sponsored me before, and I do I do like their stuff. They sent me light blue bedding, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, and now you can buy it here also, I guess. Well, this is different because it has that red piping. I'm really, in, I'm really into that. A burgundy stripe with a cream-colored duvet. Great Bear Ryan, you are killing it. This does look Tekla, though, which is fine. Another Etsy bedding shop that didn't have that many options, but I thought this striped bedspread was nice because I don't know it's like peachy it reminds me of Zara Home which Zara Home really had nothing and that's where I get almost all of my bedding from is Zara Home but this place is is cute and I like all of the warm photography even this yellow bedspread I love it I'll link that I'll link that in my newsletter or I'll go look it up you know how it goes if you watched my last home update I talk about this table because it looks like the Knoll table, you know, and I did buy it because I 
like it. And this one's 860. You know, I'm not all for like promoting like a cheap knockoff, but I don't know. It's Ikea and we love Ikea and I love this little side table. I think it looks really cute in my room. And you could see more of it if you watch my home update. I think it was like the last video. I don't know. Okay. I want to talk quickly about Wayfair because while I'm not the biggest fan, Wayfair does go super deep into rugs at least where you can find really unique rugs like this one. I like this one. I think it's cool. It's expensive, but I think I could dig so deep into Wayfair and find some good products. I feel like I could do a whole video on rugs. Same with Rugs USA. Like if you dig so deep and type in like Gabba rug, you have to spend a lot of time, I will say, but you can dig deep onto Wayfair and uh, Rugs USA and find some some cute rugs like look at like even this and like it kind of sometimes overlaps with Etsy rugs like some of these stores exist in multiple places so I gotta dig even deeper but I think I'll do a full video on rugs I also like these stackable storage boxes from the container store I just like the colors I like that they look like a little toolbox I think they would look really good in my garage these are just Ikea like wooden boxes, but I don't know, for kids, for adults, for teens, for what's Toyo? There's even more colors. Wow, I love these little guys. What's on Toyo? Is there more? I'm not going to be able to wait. Let's change. Look at all these little organization cases. Good job, Container Store, finding this cute site. These carts are cute. I feel like Container Store should... Uh, have more of their stuff. It was a little expensive, the carts, but I'm obsessed with these toolboxes. Okay, Toyo, adding to my list. Remember this brand, uh, Kutsurogu? I mentioned them in many of videos, but they've come out with um, actual paper lanterns, and you just buy, you know, the plug-in light off of Amazon or wherever, but they didn't have these before. They This is the main thing I, ones I used to talk about were these little guys, but look, now they have lanterns and for really nice pricing. Like this one's so cute. And I'm pretty sure it's run by this guy, just a guy, I think. It's from Japan. They're affordable and we love to support a small biz. And again, not vintage, so we all can own one. And here you go, here's my phone case. It's not that special. I actually kind of need, uh, a new one. It's getting, my phone is cracked. I need to update my phone. My phone is completely out of storage also. So got to do that. There's so many, there's so many things on the to do, but there's my striped phone case. Uh, I feel like if you get it, take a mirror selfie and tag me so I can see these bistro type utensils can get really expensive. And these are $22 for three of them. And I don't think they're vintage. So I thought I would share it because I really, this is, I love this type of silverware. I feel like I'm always going to love specifically this type of silverware from Betsu Studio, which also is the coolest vintage finds, but we're not doing vintage. So these could be vintage, but they don't look vintage to me. I guess we'll see if someone buys them and they sell out, but why would they only sell three, you know, a set of three? I feel like they're not vintage, but look at this vintage shop. I'm really into this specific watercolor palette. I just like, I like this art. I like all of this watercolor art, which I'm not really into watercolors, but I think the colors are so good. And I just like all of, I guess like specifically this one is so pretty. I think this one's cool too. I just like, I just like it. This floral is so pretty and I don't even really like watercolors. Oh, and I like this dog. Good color palette. There was a decent amount of Etsy shops on here. So it wasn't all like Amazon, you know, we didn't even go into Crate and Barrel or any of those spots, which we could, we could keep doing these. I could show you what I'm buying, you know, every few months because it does, I don't know. I mean, I've been calming down on shopping and I do mainly buy vintage, but I think it's nice to have people that you like decor wise. I'm assuming you like my decor if you watch my channel or my personality, whatever one. 
Um, but I think it's nice to just see what, what they're doing, you know? Like, if they're, like, discovering a cool new sneaker, I'm like, yeah, I'll get that. No one, no one of my friends really watches YouTube. Like, I don't really have friends that watch YouTube. So they just think it's my idea. And it's like, nope, I was influenced and I used a discount code. Just so you know, if you watch this channel, I'm never trying to promote or convince any of you to buy anything. I'm actually trying to do the opposite. I'm trying to get you to use what you have in your home and then, you know, spice it up here and there. But even with this video, you could use it as inspiration or add it to your cart to purchase later if you are looking for a specific piece of art or whatever. Never trying to tell you to buy a product. Unless, I guess, if I'm sponsored, then, you know, that's what pays the bills for me to make YouTube videos. It's all its own game here on YouTube and podcasts. And it's just, just what it is. But in the end, we support the creators that we like because we want to hang out with them and watch them. And, you know, I do all the same things. Um, all right. Like I said earlier, um, when I was talking to my brother, I am hosting a Mexican Domino's night and I need to go get uh, I'm going to get some Lebanese food and wine. I need Lebanese food, Lebanese food and wine. And I need to clean. Honestly, I need to like vacuum and light a candle, you know? I'm still working on getting my room decorating series going, trying to get sponsors for that. We're 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 in the works. We're still getting things off the ground. I can't use that excuse for much longer. I'm like it's the new year. Um okay. <laughs> See you next week. Bye.